Hi, today is November 16th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1780 for the year, Flight. The bird is like, I think I'll fucking fly. I wonder if the bird even knows why. I wonder how the bird knows where to go. I wonder what he does and doesn't know. I wish I knew the language of the birds, or better still, that they could learn my words, or better still, that I too could take flight. I'd sail the skies all day into the night. But then again, I take flight in the mind. I often leave reality behind. I so enjoy excursions that I take, the dreams I dream, the dream worlds that I make. But sometimes when I see you in the sky, I think it must be fucking great to fly. Poem number 1781, Creeps. She crept into him and got under his skin and flowed with his blood in and out of him. He crept into her and swam in her stream. They muddied the waters until they were clean. Poem number 1782, Night Spell. The night quickly descended upon them, and they lay naked under its dark blanket. So deep, dark black was the blanket that they couldn't see each other. Under cover of the night, they each assumed new identities, corresponding to the other's fantasies, as they drove each other to ecstasies unimaginable until the day broke and broke the spell. Poem number 1783, Slaking. They sharpened their nails before going at it. They wanted to scratch and to be scratched. They wanted to scar and to be scarred. And they each wanted little bits of the other under their fingernails when they were through. When they were through, they kissed each other's wounds and drank from them until their thirsts were slaked. Poem number 1784, Winter Plans. Would you walk with me to the frozen lake? If the ice is thick enough, would you like to skate? Would you hold me close when the wind picks up? When the day is done, if I make tea, would you want a cup? Poem number 1785, Optimism and pe Pessimism. It bothered him that things seemed to be a little off until he realized that that meant that things were mostly on. It pleased her that it was mostly there until she remembered that close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1786, Dripped Dry. She wanted to drip dry, so she stepped out of the shower and left the towel on the rack. As she stood on the mat, shivering, she asked herself repeatedly, Why am I doing this? Why did I want to do this? Why did I think this was a good idea? Once she was dry, she got dressed and went out into the world. Although it amused her that no one knew that she had dripped dry this morning, she didn't think anyone would care. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.